Hello, YouTube family. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing well? I'm back with another devotional. This devotional is entitled, Whom Will You Serve? I'll be reading from the Bible, 1 Kings 18, 17 to 40. Then it happened, when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said to him, Is that you, O troubler of Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you and your father's house have, in that you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord and have followed the Baal. Now therefore, send and gather all Israel to men to me on Mount Carmel, the four hundred and fifty prophets of Baal, and the four hundred prophets of Asherah, who eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent for all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together on Mount and Elijah came to, to all the people and said, How long will you falter between two options? Opinion. Opinion. If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. But the people answered not a word. Then, then Elijah said to the people, I alone am left a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Therefore, let them give us two bowls, and let them choose one bowl for themselves, cut it in pieces, and lay it on the wood. But put no fire under it, and I will prepare the other bowl and lay it on the, wood, on the wood, but put no fire under it. Then you will call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God who answers by fire, he is God. So all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. Now Elijah said to the prophet of Baal, Choose one bowl for yourselves, and prepare it first, for you are many, and call on the name of your God, but put no fire under it. So they took the bowl which was given them, and they prepared it, and called on the name of Baal from morning, evening, Tell noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, no one answered. Then they leaped about the altar which they had made. And so it was at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry loud, for he, for he is a God. Either he is meditating, or he is busy, or he is on a journey. Or perhaps he is sleeping and must be awakened. So they cried aloud and cut themselves, as was their custom, with knives and lances, until the blood got out from them. And when mid midday was past, they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice. But there was no voice. No one answered. No one paid attention. Then Elijah said to, to all the people, Come near to me. So all the people came near to him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, 
to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Israel shall be your name. Then with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench around the altar large enough to hold two, two sets of seed, and put and he put the wood in order, cut the bowl in pieces, and laid it on the wood, and said, Fill four water pots with water, and pour it on the burnt sacrifice, and on the wood. Then he said, Do it a second time, and then did it a second time, and he said, Do it a third time, and they did it a third time. So the water ran all around the altar, and he also filled the trench with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening, evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came there and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel and I am your servant, and that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that you are the Lord God, and that you have turned their hearts back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt up sacrifice, and the wood, and the stones, and the dust. And it licked up the water that was in the trench. Now when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, and they said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. And Elijah said to them, See, the prophets of Baal do not let one of them escape. So they seized them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook Kithon, and executed them there. Mm -hmm. That's it for the reading. Now the devotion. During the days of King Ahab, Israel was pulled in two directions. Ahab had, had instituted Baal worship, but Elijah challenged Israel to follow God. When he pressed the people to make their up their minds, about whom to serve, they were speechless. The Old Testament presents idolatry as a serious issue. But in this modern civilized world, worship of idols seems archaic and irrelevant. However, we are sometimes just like the Israelites. We can't make up our minds about whom to serve. If something or someone has higher value and priority to us than Christ, we are trying to serve two masters, which Jesus says is impossible. We'll end up loving one and hating the other. God's generous gift of relationship, possession, and meaningful work should never be cherished more than the giver. The way your time is viewed reveals your heart's priorities. Is a part of a day devoted to God, or is every minute consumed by the demands of life? Or consider the area of dependence. Is there anyone or anything you rely on more than God? If so, it's time to stop traveling the fence and give your life holy to God. Amen. Make up your mind to follow God. Don't try to look at Hope you enjoyed the reading. And until I reach you again, God bless you all. Goodbye.